Today we're starting a new series on number patterns. The first um, video in this series is called the introduction. We're starting this video with the question, what is a number pattern? Well, you guys have been doing number patterns since the primary school, so I think everybody knows. But let's define it. A number pattern is a sequence of numbers created according to a certain rule. Okay, so a number pattern can also be called a sequence of numbers. There are a few things you need to be reminded of. Um, you will remember that knowing the rule always helps to extend the pattern. You'll remember that uh, number patterns often originate from magnificent structures in nature. You see them all around you, in flowers, in pineapples, in snails. Number patterns often describe geometrical patterns. Okay, so today our first example is a pattern in nature. It's a well-known one. Um, perhaps you've already heard it. The question is, how many pairs of rabbits will be born in a year, starting from a single pair? If each month, each pair gives birth to a new pair, which becomes reproductive from the second month. Okay, so let's represent this question with a diagram. In month one, we have two rabbits, one pair, the infertile rabbits. And then the next month, they fertile and they reproduce a pair, which is fertile the next month and will reproduce a pair. So in month five, we'll have one, two, three, four, five pairs of rabbits, which um, will then produce more rabbits. Okay, so the answer to the question, how many rabbits will we have in at the end of the year in month 12, can be given by the famous Fibonacci sequence. And Fibonacci we're going to write it down right now. So how many rabbits are we going to have? Let's have a look. In month one, we had one pair. Month two, we had one pair. Month three, we had two pairs. One plus one makes two. Month four, we had three pairs. One plus two makes three. So two plus three, we make five, which corresponds with our diagram. And now you can just carry on because you've seen the pattern Every two previous terms are added to get the next one. 8 plus, plus um, 13 will give you 21. And oh, let me just write that now. 21 and 21 plus 13 will give you 34. And 21 plus 34 will give you 55. And 55 plus 84 will give you 89. And 89 plus 55 will give you 144, which is the answer. Okay. The Fibonacci sequence can also produce a spiral, which is quite interesting. If you look at this sketch or picture here, um, Fibonacci starts with the number one. So you draw one, a block of one little square. And then you have another one. So that's another block. Then you have the number two, so you have a two by two square, then the number three, three by three square, then the number five, then the number eight, then the number 13, and then the number 21. You can carry on like that if you go further with the Fibonacci um, sequence. And what you now do is you connect opposite angles of each little square and connect them, and you'll get a beautiful spiral. Okay, so the most beautiful part about this is that when you take any of the Fibonacci numbers in the pattern and that you take two consecutive numbers, let's say we take an 8 and a 5 and you divide them, you'll get 1,6 rounded off, which is called the golden ratio. So you can take 5 divided by 3, you'll also get 1.6. And 3 divided by 2, you'll also get 1.6. This number is, um, has a symbol that looks like this. And it's called the golden ratio. Very interesting. Go read some more about that. Example 2 looks at well-known geometrical patterns. Okay, the first one we see here is a pattern 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 1 dot, 4 dots, 9 dots. You see little squares, okay? 
So the first one is called the square pattern. The square pattern. That's a well-known one. The second one, you see triangles. Okay. Um, I'm just going to move this. It's just a bit skew here. 15 there, 10 there, 6 there, 3 and then 1. So these are, this is the triangular pattern. Triangular pattern. The third one has one Q, one dot, four dots, uh, eight dots because it's cubic. Then 27 dots, 64, 125. These are the powers of three and this is called the cubic pattern. Okay, and the last one is an interesting one. The last one has one dot and then it has five dots and then each side has got three so it has, still has five sides here it still has five sides with four dots then with five dots so 1, 5, 12, 22, 35 is called the pentagular pattern because it has five sides interesting eh? Okay, and then for example four, we're finally getting to the different types of number patterns that we'll be, we will be looking at this year. The first one is well known to you. Um, 12 minus 7 is 5, 7 minus 2 is 5. So there is a constant difference. Constant difference. That is called the linear pattern. You've been doing it since grade um, 9. It's called linear, and next year it's going to be called arithmetic. Arithmetic. Okay, the constant difference is 5 in this case. Okay, the second one, I must just change one thing there. That should be a 3, and this should be a 26. Sorry about that. Okay, so if you look at this one, it has no constant difference, because the difference there is 6, and here it's 3. But it's got a common ratio. That means it's been times with the same number. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 12 is 2. Ach, 6 times 2 is 12. Or you can say 6 divided by 12 divided by 6 is 2. And 6 divided by 3 is also 2. Common ratio patterns are called geometric patterns geometric patterns and you will be doing them next year. They have a common ratio and the ratio in this case is 2 because we have multiplied with a factor of 2. Okay, number C is the one that we are focusing on this year. If you subtract them, 26 minus 17 is 9, that is 7, that is 5, that is 3. Okay, let's take the second difference, 2, 2, 3. Two, okay. So the first difference wasn't um, constant, but the second one. So this one has got a constant second difference. Sorry, sock second difference. This one is going to be called a quadratic sequence, quadratic pattern, and this is the one we will be doing for the next few days. You will see that this first difference formed a linear pattern. Now the last one is a tricky one. It's two patterns in one. These four belong together and then the three and six and six and nine belong together. So we get this pattern which is a geometric pattern because we multiply it with the common ratio of minus 2 and we also get alternating the other one 3, 6, 9 which is the pattern of um, a linear pattern. So this type we call a mixed pattern. It's got two different kinds of patterns in the mixed type. Okay, so there you've got your four types. This last slide is just to show you some interesting things you can do with numbers and the beautiful patterns you can make. 
if you look at the different squares of 1 and then 11, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, look at the third example. Or if you look at this one with the 13s, have a nice look. It's interesting to see what you can do. And the interesting ways that you can write the square numbers is in the first example. Okay, hope you enjoyed this introduction.